might sound corny, but it never gets old to me. Lacing them sneakers up and getting ready to go compete, that's the best part of my day. I really don't know why God bestowed this blessing upon us, but I, I don't know, man. It's just, you just sit back and you just think about it. You know, that's the thing that drives me. You know, uh, constantly wanting to do more and be better. That's the thing I pride myself on. It got me to my 11th year coming up in the league, and hopefully uh, this will be the best one so far. There is plenty of excitement surrounding the Brooklyn Nets for this upcoming season. It was a busy summer for the Nets in strengthening the roster, resigning Brooke Lopez and Thaddeus Young, getting busy on draft night in acquiring Rondé Hollis Jefferson, while selecting former Syracuse star Chris McCullough with the 29th pick. And last but not least, introducing Jarrett Jack as the starting point guard for this year's Nets squad. New faces, returning veterans, they are ready to turn some heads in the Eastern Conference in 2016. Every day is an opportunity to show people that you are what they don't think you are, or to accomplish something that you haven't. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of the sport that we play. And, you know, it's not like football where you have to wait six, seven days in between games. Now, nah, every day you have to constantly, constantly prove yourself. And I think that's the fun part about it, always keeping you sharp, always on your toes. As a younger player, man, the philosophy I always adopted was to be seen, not heard. You know what I mean? I wanted people to see my work and then respect me for it later. I just used that as my groundwork and then became more vocal as, as time went on. And when I saw things that were necessary that needed to be said, be it collectively or it could be just pulling somebody to the side and giving them a word of encouragement, that's the way I've always went about things. Not just basketball, everything. I kind of apply that philosophy to life as well. I love the responsibility on and off the court. It's something that I've always prepared myself for. You know, it helps me stay sharp, knowing that it's a lot expected of me, and you know, I'm ready to step up to the plate and assume that responsibility. I like it here. You know, the people in New York, they expect a lot. I like the pressure. I like what comes with playing in this city. The people actually take the team serious, they take the game serious, and that's all you can ask for. You know, you go out there, you try to represent them as best you can, and you know, helping other people understand what Brooklyn Net basketball is all about what it means, you know, each and every time we take the floor. We're creating that identity to make it last for 82 games. And beyond that, you know, uh, what's expected of you each and every time you put that jersey on, you step in between the lines. Media day, I get this handled, now I can get to the real work after this is over. Almost a month to open the night. Open the night on my birthday too. You know we got put on. Media day is the worst, best day of the NBA. Very, very demanding. Taking a lot of pictures, reading a lot of lines on and off teleprompters and things like that. But it's that one day to let you know the season is finally here. So that's, that's the good part of it. My mindset hasn't changed. It's pretty much the same. I approach it the same. I made sure I'm in, I'm in good shape, you know, for the season. And uh, I'm ready to go out here and look the season in the face and get ready to work. After media day concluded, it was off to training camp at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina.